hair metal is overly hated. I know a lot of metalheads do not like hair metal or 80s metal or like whatever, like pop metal, glam metal, whatever. I think it's overhated because a lot of metalheads think that metal is supposed to be like it's supposed to be dark and depraved and sometimes evil and all that other stuff right with blood and gore and all that i understand it's not supposed you know it don't sound like what metal was based around but sometimes some people don't want to listen to that type of stuff okay could you really say that hair metal is really that bad honestly musically it sounds really good like the guitar playing is really good the drumming the singing vocals the lyrics the music in general it sonically sounds good. It sounds like it's been, you know, very, really, you know, very f and fairly engineered correctly, mixed and all that back in the days. Because in the 80s, there was no loudness war. I don't think the loudness war didn't start until like the 90s. And you had better engineers back then compared to now where a lot of the shit today sounds way too loud. And sometimes overly compressed. But yeah, man, I mean, I like when I listen to Eddie Van Halen's Jump. When they use synthesizers and stuff like that. I mean, and I, I I agree. Like, I agree that the style that they dress up in back in the 80s was very goofy and silly and girlish and corny. But at the same time, I understood that that's what the 80s was about. You know, they had the, you know, the hairstyle, the boots and the, and the tight pants and the, the outfit. I get that. But, you know, the makeup and all that. Look, pop battle bands were meant to be for girls, like for women to sit there and swoon over, but they didn't have to put makeup on them. I mean, the Beatles were a pop rock band from Great Britain. You didn't see them putting makeup on their face. They were just naturally cute for the girls. I mean, I don't understand why did the 80s bands have to put all that makeup on. I'm not a big metalhead, but come on. I, will, I like to listen to those songs here and there. It's very good to listen to. Yeah, you can't really headbang and all that, but... Some people don't want a headbang. Some people just want to just follow along with the music. You can't deny that pop metal or glam metal, whatever, it does have some catchy tunes. It's very catchy. And it's very rhythmic and all that. Where, like, it, you know, hair metal is very known for, like, having a lot of major keys and a lot of major chords in their music. Whereas in metal, usually has minor chords and keys and diminished keys chords and while that may be true but you know the whole point where hair metal is supposed to be power ballads for like you know love songs or you know something to really hum to and stuff like that i mean it's very catchy you know it, it got good guitar playing good drumming good singing it's better than the bullshit that you're, that you're getting today. I mean, like you listen to pop music today, especially hip-hop music, because rap music is number one selling genre right now. If it ain't pop, it gotta be rap. And that, that goes to what I have to say about rap and metal back in the 80s. You know, back in the 80s, the metal scene was going through a disco phase, where it was becoming so manufactured, watered down, glossy, all about the money and girls and getting drugs and all that, right? Which was bad, but then, you know, but at least the metal has looked at it. It's like, yeah, it was some good songs back then, but the way they dress and how the way they were making metal look on the mainstream circuit a little bit was not real. But they still gave you more, you know, hardcore metal bands like Slayer, Motorhead, or Iron Maiden or something like that, right? They still gave you that on MTV and all that and VH1. But with rap music today... They don't do that. They keep giving you whack ass rappers or they give you mediocre crap. And all these rappers today, unlike hair metal bands back then that were talented, these artists are not talented. They can't rap, they can't sing, they can't write their own lyrics. They don't write their own lyrics. They're all in it for the money and get the hell out. They all talk about the same old shit, money, drugs, bitches, hoes, or women. My man is this, my man is that. I'll fuck my, your man and this and that and your third. Bunch of ghetto hood rat trash tunes that don't mean nothing. It's, it's not, there's nothing good to this. And it just sounds like crap overall. And it's like a lot of these people has been just brought up out of nowhere. They all seem like a bunch of manufactured industry plants. I would rather listen to ACDC than 
the baby or little baby or any of that trash that you got today or young thug mumble rap melding rap trap rap drill rap all that shit is 99 percent garbage okay it's garbage there's anybody can do that type of music anybody can mumble rap okay it's not lyrical you can't understand what the hell they're saying these ain't MCs. It's a far cry to what hip hop is supposed to be about. And when you tell the truth, you get a bunch of haters telling you, "Oh, you're just a troll. Fuck you, man. You, 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 you're old. This is the '90s anymore. Get with the times, grandpa, grandma. This ain't 1993. Go back to the '90s. Go back to the '80s. Like, what? Does it matter what year we're living in? So you mean to tell me, as the years go by, it deserves to be trashy? Is an excuse? Hell no. That crap out of here. Now, there's even people out there that say that new metal is better than hair metal. I'd rather listen to hair metal than new metal. New metal is just... I mean, it's not super terrible. It's just like, man, I... New metal is just kind of annoying. I don't want to talk about new metal right now. But I, I like hair metal, okay? I think it's very enjoyable to listen to. It's very, you know... I mean, I just like it. And my Shinoda from uh, Linkin Park... He's sitting there saying that new metal is very culturally advanced and all that, whereas in hair metal is like too white. Man, I mean, nobody, a lot of black people don't listen to metal as it is. A lot of Latinos don't listen to metal as it is. Hell, they produce some of the best music in general in music history. Some of the most well-known music that we all know came from hair metal. And people think that hair metal is like that's what metal looks like. No, there's there's more to it. That's just the, the the tipping point of metal. Okay, that's like the beginner's guide to metal. And no, hair metal is not satanic. For all you idiots out there, you religious assholes who think all metal is satanic and demonic, dummies. People need to wake the fuck up. So yeah, so the bottom line is that look, hair metal may not be like Megadeth, Iron Maiden. Corpse Grinder or Slayer or Motorhead or Kill Switch Engage or Metallica. I understand that. But the thing is that hair metal, for what it was worth, even though it was pop and maybe watered down, but it was still catchy. It was still good to listen to. Way, way better than what you're getting today in music when it comes to the mainstream circuit. Because a lot of that stuff that's on the radio or with Spotify or Instagram or whatever website out there is promoting it, YouTube, whatever, the radio, the, the DJs and all that, they keep promoting it. It's not as good as any hair metal band. I, rather, I would rather listen to pop metal, hair metal, glam metal, whatnot. Didn't listen to a lot of this shit today. So I'm just gonna keep it just real. But listen, I don't know a damn thing about metal.